Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you some lesser known Chrome extensions that you should really check out. Alright, you can find a breakdown of all these apps over on the full guide at Gadget Hacks, so be sure to check that out. And there you can also find the install instructions and download links, so be sure to check that out. And now, the first extension I'm going to be showing you is called Alien Tube. And now, what this extension does is it replaces YouTube comments with Reddit comments. So you can see here I have this YouTube video pulled up. And you can see here that now it's in the Reddit style. And if you check out this first comment, you can also see that it's the same one that is in the original Reddit thread. And the next extension is actually still going to have to do with YouTube. But instead of changing up the comments, it's actually going to change the way you search. So let's say you search for Kanye West. You will still see the video that you have currently playing um, along with the search menu. Kind of same, the same way that it works on the YouTube mobile app. So right when you check a new video, it will automatically start playing that one on the new page and then it'll continue um, being minimized to the corner if you continue searching. All right, so right on to the next one, which is tell me more. And this extension actually lets you highlight any word or phrase on a web page. And then um, usually by default, it's set to automatically open up the Wikipedia page for it in a little pop up. But right now I have it set to only um, be activated by a right click option so right here if i click tell me more it'll automatically bring up the wikipedia page for chrome and right now it is giving me a different bunch of different options for actually um, looking up chrome in this case i'm going to be looking up the web browser so it'll automatically pull up that wikipedia page for google chrome now if you if you want to enable it to be automatically popping up every time you highlight a word all you have to do is go to your options. In order to do that, you just go into your settings menu, and then from the settings, hit extensions, and then underneath, um, and then underneath the extension, you'll find a, a label that says options. Now, not all app, not all extensions support this, but um, the ones that do have this option right there, and then go ahead and change that up. So in this case, if you want to change, tell me more. All you have to do is scroll down to where the extension is at hit options and then you're going to uh, check the box next to automatically show hover cards when text is selected. Now that you could do the same thing with any other extension that we're going to cover in this guide. So when I refer to changing the options, that's where you would go in order to change that. Our right, next up is uBlock, which is another ad blocker, but unlike other ones like AdBlock Plus, it doesn't use as much RAM, so you're going to feel your Chrome experience be a lot faster. Now, just to give you a quick little preview of it, here is the Los Angeles Times website without uBlock enable. And then if I go ahead and enable it from the options and then reload it, you go ahead and see it without ads. Next up, we have Project Naphtha, which is an extension that converts the text on any image to actual copyable text. So in this case, all I have to do is start selecting text. And then if I right click it, I can go ahead and copy it. You could also change the language or translate it to a different language. But if you actually want to, you could actually modify the text to say whatever you want. So in this case, all I have to do is hit uh, modify text option, put a new phrase, hit OK, and then it'll just go ahead and change it. I didn't get this G on there. That's why that didn't change. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably have a bunch of tabs open all the time in Chrome. And that usually takes up a lot of resources and it starts on your computer. So if you actually want to inactivate tabs you haven't really been to in a while, you can install the extension, the Great Suspender. And what it does is it lets you actually set a timer limit to how long a tab has to be inactive in order for it to completely be stopped. You can also stop tabs individually. And all you have to do is click the Great Suspender icon and then hit Suspend This Tab. It'll stop it and give you this um, screen. But if you actually want to go back to it, all you have to do is click to reload and it'll automatically load up the page again and you'll be able to begin using it. By default, the timer is set to an hour, but if you just right click and hit the options menu, you could go ahead and change up the um, timer from the options. Next up, we have Stay Focused, which is an extension that blocks time wasting sites like Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, stuff like that that will stop you from getting work done. And it pretty much sets up a timer to how long you do not want to be on those sites. But be sure to know that once you set the timer, you cannot stop it. So you will have to wait out the, the entire um, time in order to actually access those sites again. Now, if you actually want to create the timer and start it up or just make a timer for a specific site, all you have to do is hit the Stay Focused extension icon in your toolbar and then click block the entire site and then it'll 
be able it will stop the site for 10 minutes if you go to the nuclear option or the settings you'll be able to make it so that um all the sites on the blocked sites list will not be accessible you could also change the time limit from here but if you go to the blocked sites you will see the option to create your own list which will be able to block all those sites on your specific blacklist from being accessed while you have the extension enabled. Moving right along, we have the extension Stylish, which allows you to create custom styles for a website. Now they do have a user-generated gallery where you could go ahead and download and install custom themes that have been created by users, but if you'd rather create your own, you could just right-click the Stylish icon hit options and then from the options menu you'll be able to write your new style if you know HTML or something like that that you'll be able to create your own custom view for a website right now they have options to change the slider for YouTube videos change the way the Google home page looks change the way the Facebook login page looks it just depends on what website you're trying to modify all right the next extension I'm gonna be going over is Zenmate and pretty much what that is is a VPN for Chrome and once it is enabled, it will match your IP address and make your, your connection to the internet more secure. They do also offer a pro service that is subscription based. To get more details on that, be sure to check out the link that is over at the full guide on Gadget Hacks. Alright, and last up, we have long URL, which converts shortened URLs to full length URLs. And if you actually hover over a shortened URL, like on our Twitter page, you could go ahead and see the long URL, the title of the target website, and a description of that website. Now, all of this information will not be displayed for every shortened URL. It just depends on the target website that you're going to. Now, you can also customize the way this little tooltip works. All you have to do is go to the extension options menu and then configure it from there. For a full breakdown of all these extensions along with their download links, be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.